And we've already, already talked about today what causes your own suffering. Just one a couple of things I'd like to mention about the suffering, though. <clears throat> if you, experience, if you re resist the experience of your own emotion, you are just going to create more pain for yourself. <clears throat> so, no matter where you are, if you hold down your emotion, you are going to make it harder for yourself later. So you might be at work trying to hold back the tears. You'd be far better off going into the loo at work and having a good cry. Do you know what I mean? Because the moment, as you're holding down those tears, you are now setting up a state where later you're going to have to now access that emotion again through some trigger, and then you'll have to experience it. You're actually doubling up all of your work. So if you can avoid doing that, it will be very powerful for you. Okay. If I act on my desires that are not harmonious with love, I'm going to damage myself as well. So if I say to myself, oh, you know, at the moment I'm angry, so I'm just going to stay in this anger, and I don't express, express it, I don't experience it, I just stay in the seething part of it, and I could stay there for a month or I could stay there for a year, what am I doing? I'm damaging myself that entire year. If I choose to get under it, or if I firstly choose to experience it fully, then automatically I'll get under it. Then I'm now out of that state. But you see, a lot of times we want to stay in the anger. Why? Because we're afraid of what's underneath? Or we're addicted to the anger? Why would we be addicted to the anger? Because it's powerful. Yeah? It satisfies our want to hurt somebody or you know our our self justifications, doesn't it? Uh, sometimes we do. Yeah, particularly if it's anger directed at self. Yeah. All of those states are not going to help me get deeper. Does that make sense? When I fully experience the anger and really get into it and really get into a rage like a child would, within a few minutes you'll find most of the time you'll be in another emotion. Right? And that emotion will be the underlying emotion that's creating the feeling that you, why you want to get into anger. Right? And we need to allow ourselves to experience that emotion then. And don't act upon your desire to harm others. Now that's really hard when you're angry, isn't it? Yeah. Incredible. All right, because you, what do you feel like? You feel like saying some words that are just going to get under their skin, or you feel like, you know, maybe hurting them, or if it's a child, you might feel like even smacking them or whatever, right? But all of that's just going to harm you even further. When you own your emotion, it'll be much better. <coughs> 